In those uh, primordial days, uh, cartoonists were working in their studios and they, uh, they were pretty much isolated and they would only know a, a fellow cartoonist by their work. High and I met in uh, 1948. He hadn't quite centered on what his abilities were, but they were abundant even then. This is, this is, this is High Iceman. I'm sure you know who it is. And I was, holy smokes, you know, High Iceman. Mostly all cartoonists, particularly the guys from uh, that generation, is they're humble, they're decent, good, even beyond good, just great guys. The High's a natural storyteller. Um, I mean, you, you hang on his every word because He's gonna dig deep, he's gonna go back, and there's always a great payoff at the end of his stories. He started this amazing journey. He, he was ghosting Carrie Drake, the iodine. Uh, my favorite was uh, Smokey Stover. Died, I did a better Smokey than the guy that was, was doing it at the time. Where when I got out of my dad's school, uh, called the Joe Kubert School of Cartoon and Graphic Art. We've shortened it to the Kubert School. Dad picked all of his buddies. <laughs> High was one of his buddies, because High is a, you know, a multi-talented artist. Um, he was the teacher who everybody knew that you, you know, that, that he knew a lot about a lot of different things. Whether it was anatomy, storytelling, coloring, anything, he would help us out with it. High used to force into our heads the concept of thinking in solid, three-dimensional basic shapes, extremely important. They were not lines. They were merely the hint of the information that was lurking in our brains, and we had to communicate that stuff. His ability to do two Sunday pages. Magnificently doing uh, Popeye and the Cats and Jammer Kids. To write and draw and ink these two things that are completely different from each other. No computer, this was all uh, technical stuff that was just so good. That's, that's awesome to me. Two syndicated strips and teaching at the school and managing his own life, you know, because that, we all know that takes a lot of time. He's getting a lot done, you know, and he's not slowing down. Hi. Yes. This particular strip. Yes. What is it about? It's about uh, Olive complaining that Popeye really doesn't love her because he's always talking about spinach or fishing. And he insists, that ain't true, sweetie. She says, we never discuss things that we can do together. You never remember my birthday or any other important dates. I bet you can't recall the day we met. And he says, oh yes, I do. It's the same day I caught a 50 pound muskie using a five pound bass for bait. And of course, that isn't what you wanted to hear. When I, what I'm thinking about is <laughs> my own relationships. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marco Catrone. The reason I'm standing before you is because we've brought this documentary on legendary comic artist Hi Eisman uh, as far as we can take it without your help. At this point, in order to take this documentary of Hi Eisman to the next level, we need to ask for your help. We wanted to do a movie that felt at those days when you were reading the Sunday comic strip. We are telling a story that is compelling, dynamic, fun, with great art. Things such as editing, color correction, music. These are things that we need money for. I'm looking forward to seeing this film project completed, not only because it's about my father, 
but it's a movie that I think will appeal to anyone who's interested in comic art history. High Eisman has been a part of that story for 70 years. The variety of work he has produced and his relationship with other cartoonists is a unique window into that history. So please, help us conclude funding for this project so that we can record Mr. High Eisman into our American history books. Thank you, and please contribute to this campaign.